As makers, we toil away in our garages, basements, spare rooms, and backyards to create the things we need and want in our lives. And every now and then, we make projects that do more than just serve a purpose or make us happy. They end up eliciting a positive reaction from others and bringing them joy. Puzzle boxes have been around since the 1800s. They're beautifully crafted creations and intricately designed to hold treasures within. But one nagging issue with the puzzle box is that once it's solved, its mystery is gone. The solution to the puzzle will always be the same. So we came up with a way to make an ever-changing puzzle box that has an adjustable locking system and a set of digital puzzles that complement the box. When we set out on this project, we were focused on making the highest quality wooden boxes we could. We sourced beautiful species of wood, took care when cutting the parts, and even experimented with cutting the perfect miter and achieving truly continuous grain on three of the corners. We enjoy the act of crafting objects out of wood and transforming this amazing material into something beautiful. We also love sharing our creations with others and seeing them appreciate what we've made. We built these boxes for the annual 3D Experience World Conference, where we participated in the Maker Zone. Our goal was to have something really fun and engaging for attendees to experience. They were inspired by the monster box we built last year. This new design has an improved locking mechanism that can be completely 3D printed. The combination controls are now on the front of the box, and there's a simple knob to unlatch the lid. Of course, the design takes advantage of the same two-piece dial that allows the combination on each control to be indexed in one of eight positions. This makes it really easy to change the combination. People really seem to appreciate our craftsmanship and the quality of the 3D printed mechanism. But what really brought them joy was how they got to interact with the puzzles. The journey starts by scanning a QR code that opens a 3D model of the box. The model has clues on it that reveals the combination. Spinning the model around and following the different paths is all that's required to solve the simplest puzzle. The medium and the difficult puzzles require a bit more effort to navigate the different aesthetics and discern the clues. Sectioning the model may help navigate internal pathways, while viewing the model in wireframe may help make sense of the internal details. It was this unique experience of combining a physical object with a digital model that got people most excited and made them comment that it was like a mini escape room just with a tiny box. If you love puzzles and want to make one of these boxes for yourself, you can download the design files using the link in the description. We cut the details on the box sides using our CNC, but there's nothing particularly fancy about the cuts, so you can totally make this using a table saw and a drill press. The most fun part of the build though was definitely experimenting with keeping a thin layer of wood at the miter joint and heat bending it to create a truly perfect continuous grain on three corners. We'll experiment with book matching the boards and getting all four corners in the future. One of the most fussy parts of the build was applying the custom vinyl symbols around the dials. Like our pillow desk project, we decided to apply iron-on vinyl on the wood before applying the finish. Because the artwork was so intricate, it definitely took a lot more patience with the heating and the peeling. The key was to not rub the iron around when heating and to use a scraper to help persuade the vinyl to stick to the wood. Whether you aim for fancy corners or whether you include a combination lock, a box like this is a great way to practice your skills and get better at making. We hope this video inspired you to get started on your next project and tackle it with confidence. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on our next make.